Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with more Multi-Pack Mania. And this week's theme was Three Packs. Oh yeah! I decided to step away from horror for Multi-Pack Mania this week, and I'm going with this three pack. I found this recently at a thrift store, grabbed it for a dollar. I mean, it's a Blu-ray 3-pack. Apparently, it's a Ryan Reynolds collection. As you can see, it includes Adventureland, Waiting, and Van Wilder. And I love all three of these movies. I especially love Adventureland from this pack, but Waiting is hilarious as well. The thing is, since I mainly focus on horror, I don't see another time when I would review movies like this on my channel so I'm taking this opportunity to do so. I went back to the trusty random number generator, and this was the result. Obviously, going by the cover, one, two, three, Adventureland it is. I can't say I'm not happy about that, because I love this movie, and I usually try to watch it at least once a year. First of all, before I even get into the review, I want to just say, in my opinion, Adventureland is one of the most underrated movies probably ever made. Of course, that's just my opinion, but I stand by it. There is something just so nostalgic about it, especially if you're a lover of the 80s. Adventureland is a 2009 film set in the summer of 1987. Jesse Eisenberg plays James Brennan, who plans on going to college in New York in the fall. Unfortunately, his family is in a financial crisis when his father gets demoted at work. They move into a new house, and James is forced to get a summer job if he wants to have enough money to go to New York. They currently live in Pittsburgh, by the way. James has no real work experience, so he has no choice but to take a job at Adventureland, where a friend of his works. Adventureland is a seasonal amusement park, with rides and games. The movie was actually shot on location in Kennywood Amusement Park in Pennsylvania. That truly adds to the authenticity of it all. You guys know how I feel about amusement park settings, and Adventureland has one of the best, if not the best. Toby Hooper's The Fun House is another contender. That, of course, is a carnival, though, while Adventureland is an amusement park. James quickly makes new friends while working at Adventureland, including the nerdy Joel, M, played by Kristen Stewart, Connell, the park handyman, played by Ryan Reynolds, and the delectable Lisa P, the popular girl, Lisa P. Oh, madame. Then there is also Bobby and Paulette, the managers of Adventureland, played by Bill Hader and Kristen Wiig, respectively. Adventureland is basically about the crew going through trials and tribulations, and of course, relationships. James and M have an instant connection, and begin seeing each other. But James doesn't realize that M has also been sleeping with Connell, who is a married man. Then, when Lisa P. shows interest in James, he decides to date her as well. The relationships are like additional roller coasters at Adventureland, but there are hilarious hijinks that ensue as well. The soundtrack is absolutely amazing. Talk about 80s nostalgia. You will never hear the song Rock Me Amadeus the same way again. Another thing I love about Adventureland is how real all of the relationships actually feel. There are no perfect love stories. This is like watching real-life relationships on screen. There is a lot of authentic awkwardness, which makes it feel real. Jesse Eisenberg and Kristen Stewart also happen to have some very good chemistry. Above all else, though, the Adventureland setting is spectacular. Obviously, the majority of the movie takes place in the amusement park. Like I said, to me, Adventureland is one of the most underrated movies of all time, and I highly recommend it to everyone. Especially, though, if you love 80s nostalgia. And if I still haven't been clear enough about how much I love Adventureland, it is literally in my top 20 favorite films of all time. Have you seen it?
If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. For next week, let's double the theme. We'll go from three packs to six packs. Choose a six pack from your collection that does not contain movies all from the same franchise. Use a random number generator or another method. A single die might be a good option for this one. And randomly select a film to watch from it. Watch the movie, review it, and upload your video no earlier than next Monday. Please be sure to include the words Multi-Pack Mania in the title of your video. Thanks for watching guys, have fun. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe.